Hey everyone, I'm back with some more projects to share with you all. Um, this is another a video for my Adornit um, design team. And let me show you what I used and then I'll show you my, my uh, projects. So the first stamp I have to share is this one here. I already colored the, um, the drink recipe. I used the flip-flops this time. And then uh, from this larger 6x8 set, I used the Hello Summer, I believe it was Hello Summer, no, the Summer, sorry, and the Flamingo in this set. So I colored those up, and then I also used some of these crystals from Gina Marie Designs, those were a freebie. And this old retired die from Paper Tray Ink, it is a tote bag. Actually, you have two sets in here, if you notice. And then um, this one is a uh, die set that is called Perfect Pairs Essentials. And I used the word hello out of this one as a die cut. And I use Copics, but I don't have all the markers out, so I can't share with you. Uh, so the first product I have is this little tote bag tag. Maybe if I put it behind a piece or in front of a piece of paper, you'll see it better. I use some um, plastic sheets that I have. They're, this one's a blue one, but you can order the acrylic in different colors. Um, I couldn't find <laughs> my stack. Um, so I just used this um, blue piece that I had found in my, uh, my um, scrap stash. And I cut out the tote bag. This paper is from Adorn It, this right here. And um, this image is the flip-flops that I colored with Copics. Um, and I just colored the, the flip-flops, um, pulling the colors from the, the pattern paper. This is also pattern paper from Adorn It. This is uh, the die cut, and I've die cut it like five or six times and just layered it up so that it's actually raised a little bit. It says hello, and then there's the stamp that says summer. I actually filled in the words so that it's a little bit more bold. So it says, hello, summer. And um, you can just tie some twine to this to make it a tag. And I've added a little charm umbrella and a little tassel here just for fun because, you know, it's a tote bag. So I feel like it should have like a little charm hanging off of it. And there's the crystals that are in the flip-flops there. Um, I put some flower centers in. If you turn the, this over, I've also die cut another piece of paper to kind of um, just go on this side so it's more complete. And I'm actually gonna just tie some ribbon onto the handle of the tote and it will make it a nice little tote bag um, tag for gifting. So that's the first project. The second one is this card and it's a shaker card. So you can see actually the, the Flamingo is behind this bag of sand and shells. There's shells in here, see? Um, I'd gotten this at the retreat that I attended, and this is part of the card class that we didn't complete. So I stamped the um, flamingo that Diana illustrated, colored it up with my Copics, and stamped the Hello Summer there and added some little flowers. These flowers actually come from um, the paper pack. I fussy cut them out and just put them... Um, kind of inside the words. So it says, hello, summer. And you can actually lift the bag. See? The flamingo is standing in some water. Um, but it's a nice shaker card. The, the sand should not come out because it's the entire um, size of the card. Um, and it is uh, adhered shut with some score tape. So sorry about the glare, but that's just how it's constructed. And then it opens up. I didn't stamp the inside yet because I don't know what I'm going to use it for. But, you know, you can open it like a card, regular card. But it is a shaker with shells. <laughs> Isn't that fun? Anyway, those are my projects. Um, cute little flamingo there. Pink one. Um, and that's what I have to share with you all today. Thanks for watching, and I'll be back with more. Bye for now.